Hi, I'm Henry Lee of BlueHeronArts.com. Today I'm going to carve a new mood seal or legio seal with these four characters, a Chinese phrase. And it says the ink, sea, floating dragon or plain uh, swimming dragon. Depends on how you interpret it. Uh, ink, sea, and uh, swimming dragon. Or swimming dragon in the ink sea. Mo hai yolong. First of all, I would like to show some uh, Chinese uh, etymology, the origin of uh, these characters. The first character, Mo is uh, um, composed of two parts. The upper part is he or black, and the lower part is uh, earth. So black soil or black, um, black earth or black uh, clay um, means the ink stick, you know, the ink we use to write or paint. Let me use my ink pen here. And in the ancient script, he um, is uh, look like this. The field and uh, the fire. The burned field fire burning in the fields and uh, add this uh, clay radical it becomes the uh, character for ink stick or ink here is the uh, in this book you can see the evolution of uh, uh, the character he or black in the Eric Bone style, the bronze style and the small script style Okay, now the second one is uh, high. This is a very interesting one. High means ocean. Oops, I got some ink here. High means ocean. Ocean um, is composed of uh, two um, clusters. One is the, the water radical. Oh, you, can, you can write the cursive way in the beginning or dot it. Um, and later it becomes uh, three dots, either horizontal or vertical, plus the um, mother mother radical or mother cluster means uh, it, okay it looks like this a woman uh, sitting actually this is a woman I add two dots here means mother this is the Chinese uh, pictograph the, in the oracle bone style. And uh, later um, we formed a character, the mother of water, which means sea, right? So this is the ocean or sea. There are several different uh, ways of writing it. Just uh, to make it simple. So this is the second character, and uh, the third character is uh, Yu means uh, uh, to swim or to uh, float. And uh, actually, this uh, original original meaning is uh, a flag uh, 
and a, a, a man holding a flag. So this is the flag pole, and this is the the flag that's decoration. Sometimes uh, you can see the flag more um, like that, and then uh, it becomes more abstract. So just the, the you know like that. Then the another character. Uh, under the flag, actually, it's likely shown in this picture. It's holding the fl flag. Um, still, later you can add a motion uh, cluster, uh, radical, either uh, the foot or the water uh, depends on if you f uh, swim in in the in the water or uh, march um, on land. So it depends on more uh, specific meanings, but uh, uh, with this character um, like that, it could mean both uh, swim or play or travel or march, things like that. So in this context, we'll translate as floating, maybe. It's good. Um, the sec the third character is uh, long or dragon, and I've shown uh, earlier in other video clip. This is the the head and then the the back, you know, the tail. Uh, the dragon. It later become two parts: the head on the left and the the body on the right. You know the in the standard writing uh, uh, traditional Chinese characters. Uh, I used to write in English, you know, DR, this is the head, it still looks like uh, the dragon. Um, now we have uh, chosen this stone to do it. Um, so this is a natural shaped stone, you can see, and with a black uh, natural patterns, uh, colors. It's like uh, the ink ocean, as uh, the content says. It's a very perfect uh, uh, match of the content. So this, uh, this is the design we have decided on. I, used, uh, I did several, ones, uh, several studies in the process of uh, uh, design. You can see this is the in or negative carving style I did on the computer. Then I inversed it into the positive or the yang style. And uh, my client, or by the way, was commissioned by uh, Francis in Denmark, uh, who is a Sumi artist. Uh, this phrase is uh, uh, also provided by him. It's very beautiful uh, Chinese phrase, he said, you know, the ink ocean and the floating dragon. Um, I already transferred the image um, by, first of all, uh, Xerox it, and then uh, cut a piece and uh, uh, put on the rock on the stone and then use uh, acetone liquid. Uh, it's a kind of nail polish remover liquid made of uh, pure acetone. You use that liquid to um, on the, apply it on the back of the paper and then use a pebble stone to rub it. The image will be transferred with a, a clear um, imprint. And then I use the uh, either ink or marker to enhance it. So now I have a very clear, clear mirror image on the stone. Now I'm going to carve. This stone is uh, the, called the Changhua. It's a very nice stone. Very soft, uh, very, um, very fine texture. So I start from the bridge. So 
so I can test to get a good feel of the stone. It's harder than Qingtian stone. So I first of all make the shape more oval according to the design. I also put a mirror image next to me so I can um, look at it. Okay, now I'm going to carve the inside. Um, this phrase is very um, masculine. I would use a very bold carving style. So uh, normally I carve with the knife uh, smooth side along the, the, the line. But this time I can try to use the rough side. Sometimes create that kind of uh, smearing ink effect. Also, I can use the uh, cutting move to get the uh, straight lines. See, instead of pushing, Kind of hard. Some part. Oops. I will stop talking. Just concentrate for a while. Sharper knife.
Now I have done the first, I mean, the third character in the phrase, but uh, I did uh, this one first uh, it's, uh, just for convenience. Uh, I would clear the background later, I would just you know, concentrate on the characters. So the second uh, character I'm going to do is this uh, black, or actually uh, ink. The first half is, uh, the upper half is black. So this is, I use, uh, because of the irregular shape, I sometimes uh, borrow the margin. So this part, touch the margin make it more interesting. This stone is a uh, natural shape. This, uh, this bottom is not very stable. I have to hold it uh, more firmly like this maybe. Then you cannot hear the sound. like to hear the sound of uh, carving myself just to use this on the table And to uh, purposely make this uh, uh, some strokes more like uh, the drip of uh, ink, so uh, like a water drop in you know, a shape, ink drop shape, to match the uh, the image, uh, the content. <coughs> 